Continuing with your favorite weekly motoring fix, Mitsubishi Motors Philippines Corporation or MMPC, one of the country's leading automotive brands, successfully inaugurated its new manufacturing plant at the sprawling Greenfield Automotive Park in Santa Rosa, Laguna. Obviously, it's a very clear message of faith and confidence. The new factory represents not just additional investment for MMPC, but more importantly, increased manufacturing capacity to meet healthy local demand. This comes at the heels of eight consecutive years of growth for the Japanese brand with more than 50 years of manufacturing history in the country. The message is pretty obvious. The Philippines is good for it. It was the end of an era as much as the beginning of a new one for Mitsubishi Motors Philippines Corporation or MMPC. As it waved farewell to its old Gain Da Hunt, MMPC looks to a brighter future in its new headquarters and manufacturing plant within a 21.4 hectare property at the Greenfield Automotive Park in Santa Rosa, Laguna. The new plant is a vital cog of Mitsubishi's new stage 2016 midterm plan to reinforce business in the Philippines as a core market after Thailand and Indonesia. For a group Philippines to offer this uh, factory for sale, and our Japanese uh, bosses or executives saw the opportunity and saw the potential of this former Ford factory. So we took a look at it. We said that we can configure it uh, right and uh, make it more productive. Compared to Kainta, what we added here in Santa Rosa is the most advanced plastic paint system in the country. Actually, uh, in Japan also, it's the most advanced system. We're in, uh, it saves space, uh, around 80% with space, and also uh, around 2 billion pesos in savings uh, because of uh, a reduction in electricity costs and, uh, and operation costs. Uh, our move from Kainta to Santa Rosa means that uh, we're getting ready for the motorization. President Benigno Aquino III was on hand to personally inspect the new facility, escorted by MMPC President and CEO Hiko Saburo Shibata. The chief executive was shown the production line, including the state-of-the-art automated plastic parts painting section, which is the first of its kind in the country's auto industry. Other guests at the inauguration included Japan Ambassador to the Philippines Kazuhide Ishikawa, Mitsubishi Motors Corporation Japan Chairman and CEO Osamu Masuko, Cabinet Secretary René Almendras, and Department of Trade and Industry Secretary Gregory Domingo, Philippine Export Zone Authority Director General Lilia de Lima, and executives of the various automobile companies and of related industries. A car enthusiast himself, President Aquino obviously enjoyed the display of classic Mitsubishi cars that have been kept in pristine condition. It is worth noting that your growth was hard won through some of the most tumultuous periods in our history. Mitsubishi Philippines found a way to stand by their commitment to the Filipino people and to continue growing through the long years of the dictatorship and the coups that threatened stability during my mother's presidency. We have been doing business in the Philippines for more than 50 years. We are, in fact, one of the oldest motorway, automotive brands in the country. The transfer is a strategic move that will enable us to adapt better to our growing industry. Shibata noted industry predictions that total sales volume for the domestic market will rise from 269,000 to 310,000 vehicles. MMPC itself remains justifiably bullish about prospects as it registered a record of 50,085 units sold last year. 62,000 units or 20% of market target this year. With the opening of the Santa Rosa factory, MMPC is set to immediately grow the rollout rate of its successful adventure and L300 badges from 30,000 to 50,000 a year. MMPC is thus in prime position to realize its 2015 sales target of 62,000 units. It is worth noting that around 60% of the vehicle parts are made locally, so the increased activity is expected to provide additional stimulus to the industry. This Santa Rosa plant represents the beginning of a new chapter in our shared history. Completed just last month, the plant has a production capacity of up to 50,000 units per year and is expected to employ up to 1,150 individuals over the next six years. Significantly, the President promised that government will do its part to provide support and impetus to further grow the industry. It is always heartening to see our industry grow 
and Mitsubishi Motors Philippines Corporation, or MMPC, is obviously helping to do just that while showing us it is here for the long haul. The newly opened Santa Rosa plant is MMPC's tangible renewal of its promise to do business in the country and help us realize our dream of mobility for more, not to mention the jobs that are created because of it. Congratulations are in order for our friends in MMPC. Here's to more years of growth and success. <laughs>